Here is a piece of cord. You could use string, you could use yarn. I like this cording because it's a little sturdier, so it's easier to handle. It's a very simple spell. First thing you need to do is figure out what you want. Then what we're gonna do is bind it into existence. Something specific is a great idea. Let's just say we had a goal for a specific amount of money. That's always good for a specific expense. So what I'm doing is I'm finding the center point of this, of this cord by meeting the two ends together. And then I just keep my finger on that center point. And then I start the spell, keeping in mind what I desire. By nod of one, the spell's begun. And then I'm gonna want four knots on either side of this. So I'm gonna do this side first. By knot of two, it cometh true. By knot of three, so mote it be. By knot of four, the open door. By knot of five, my spells alive. Now I'll go into the other side. By knot of six, my spell doth fix. By knot of seven, link earth to heaven. By knot of eight, the hand of fate. By knot of nine, this thing is mine. Now you could probably be a lot more even with your knots than I was, but this'll do, it doesn't really matter. So we've got nine knots that we have used. Now some people like to tie, you know, things like sticks and things into the, to the knots. I prefer to keep it just plain. A couple reasons is it helps me to focus on, on the tying of the knots and not worrying about all those other things. And another thing is if for some reason somebody were to find this, it's just a it's just some knots. You know, it's it's a little less witchy looking than a bunch of you know little trinkets in there. Anyway, regardless. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to purify this. So I'm gonna take my salt and water and purify it. I can chant if I want, but I sometimes like to do this in silence. And then I'm going to wave it through the vapor or the smoke. Like I said, you could use frankincense or you could use sage if you burn incense. But I'm just using this verbena. All right, so now what you can do is you can take a, a tea made out of an herb that is appropriate to your desire. Or you can do like I do and just use some Florida water, which is which is all purpose. So I'm going to take my... my um, completed cord and I'm just going to set it at the bottom of a bowl or a small cup and I'm just going to pour some Florida water on it. It doesn't need to be completely immersed. All I need is for this to get fragranced. Once this is dry, I just hide it somewhere. And once my spell has manifest, I just throw the whole thing away. I don't untie it. I don't do anything. I just throw the whole thing away. Now, I've had people tell me, oh, that is the wrong way to do cord magic. Their point of view is that you don't want to throw this away because you want to be able to untie it if you decide that you don't want that thing anymore. That's not the way this works. By the time it's manifested, this cord is nothing. It's, it's, you can't undo it. It's done. It's undone. So you may as well just toss it because the cord has completely fulfilled its function. Let's recap. You take a piece of cord and you tie nine knots while you're thinking intently of your desire. And with each knot, you, you use that little chant, which will be in the video description of this video. Then you cleanse it by the four elements and then you soak it briefly in a potion either a, a tea of the herbs which are appropriate to your desire or something all-purpose such as florida water and then you allow it to dry and then you hide it away until your spell has become manifest at which point you throw the cord away and that's all there is to it
Much, much love and many, many blessings.